Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So I ordered this Worms and Living Material from Mimi's Worms. I uh, had a total of six boxes ordered. Five of them came, four came the same day, which was the eighth. The other one came on the ninth. This was supposed to also be on the ninth, but for some reason it was delayed and just showed up today. So a true test would have been if it would have been survivable. But I noticed that the box had got damaged and they taped it up. Which this was probably a reason for them being this late. Because this thing been in Atlanta and just been moving around Atlanta for some weird reason. So I guess it probably opened up. Worms probably was coming out. Who, who knows? And it might have freaked people out. <laughs> Because I know people are really scared of worms. But anyways, I knew I wanted to do an unboxing because if there's still living worms in here, this is a true testament that this shipping method actually works. You know, shipping them in the living material in their own bedding. You know, material that they already done got accustomed to and all of that. So while they're in shipping, they don't even know anything changed because they're in the same material. They've been in pretty much all their life, so. Let's really see if there's any life in here. This is gonna be really, really interesting. So far, it looked dry and sounded dry. So I don't really know. Okay, so the box did definitely get damaged on the side. But guess what? There is life in here. <laughs> there is actually a lot of life in here. <clears throat> there is movement and everything going on. Let me zoom in a little bit here. But yeah, there is definitely worms in here. Let me put on a glove here. And see. And this is really a true testament because honestly... This material is very dry right now, but look at that. There is a lot of worms still living. Look at that. And they've definitely been eating the material that's in here. Look at that. There is still worms. So I need to immediately spray them down, give them some moisture. Oh, there's some big chunks of wood in here. And I sure, I'm very sure that having the wood chips in here is giving them that little extra survivability. Because if wood chips get hot, they're not going to just transfer that heat. But yeah, there is still worms moving around. Now, I don't know how many got out from where the box had opened. You know, hopefully not many. <laughs> It's still a decent amount of worms in here, but I'm tempted to just dump this out, actually. Let me take the... Oh, yeah. When you look at that side, yeah, that whole chunk is missing. That whole chunk is missing there. So the worms definitely was feasting on that spot. <clears throat> So, you know, putting a little insulating material in here might actually be a benefit. There's not many worms on this side where it's really, really dry. But they all seem to just congregate it in the areas that actually have more moisture. So any part of the box that they can eat, they've definitely been eating it. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna dump this out and really see how many worms are in here. And investigate this box and see. Oh yeah, so you can see the area that it opened. 
So yeah, we definitely had worms coming out for sure. So that whole section there was open. So I guess this box probably had gotten a little bit more moist and that caused the box to fail in that area. But as you see here, there's worms all in that area because they were feasting on that. And we have all sizes of worms in here. We got some adults, we got some juveniles, but there's still worms all through here. So yeah, we definitely had worms that arrive alive. Yeah, and this material is really dry, but they definitely hung in there pretty much well over a week. Because I think these got shipped out on the 6th. So that's, yeah, 10 days, you know, and they did all right. That's amazing to me. Let me try to zoom in a little bit here. Yep, we got living arms in there. So that's a testament to this method of shipping worms and living material. They can definitely, you know, take a little hardship and still survive. Because all through the material, you can see all this worm castings in here too. There's a lot of worm castings in here. You see worms all through this. So if any escaped, it couldn't have been that many. And what I noticed about the worms and living material, because they're in their living material, they have no interest in going anywhere because everything they need, all their microbes and everything is inside here. So they're not even thinking about <laughs> going anywhere anyway. So yeah, I can definitely say this was a success. And even though it wasn't planned, you know, this was a real test of this method of shipping worms. And I mean, look at this. It's a bunch of little worms all around this. Yeah. That's definitely some red worms there. Look at the tail. So yeah, these are some red wigglers, all right. So this is the... Uh, I seen you, Andrea, and they're still active. So I'm gonna get these in a bin, wet them down, feed them a little worm chow, cover them up, and let them relax. <laughs> Matter of fact, they don't even need any worm chow now. All they need is some moisture. They really do need some moisture. And I'm really surprised that the box was damaged, but yet they still had enough moisture. And that's the thing about wood chips. That's why wood chips work in the garden too, because wood chips are like sponges and they soak up moisture. So even though the rest of the material is still dry, the wood chips have enough moisture to create humidity inside the box. And I'm sure that's what, you know, enabled them to be able to survive this. So yeah, I will definitely say this is success. I'm going to send this to Mimi right now. And yeah, these are from Mimi's Worms in Valdosta, Georgia. So definitely check out her website. You know, she got these worms. And now we know that they can ship all season long. Because this method right here has definitely proven itself to me at least. Because I was very worried when I saw the damage on the box that we wasn't going to have any survivors. So the fact that we have survivors, that's a big deal to me, you know. I'm, I'm definitely um, impressed. And as a worm farmer, I have never sell, sold any worms. But best believe in the future, if I'm going to sell worms, I will definitely want to do it in this manner. Because it's beneficial for me and beneficial for the customer. You know, it's a high survivability and also when it gets to the customer, they can use all this material to jumpstart that worm bin. So yeah, definitely a winner. I would 
I would definitely say get you some. <laughs> they come highly recommended because this is major to me. To see that many live worms in here, it is major to me. But until next time, bye-bye.